Hello everyone and welcome to episode 32 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now in today's episode we're going to be discussing why you should be dieting on as many calories as possible while still seeing progress and also using as little cardio as possible while still seeing progress. The main reason being people seem to misinterpret fat loss and this in my opinion comes from an extremist view. As I discussed in my, a lot of my other podcasts, for whatever reason, the fitness industry seems to draw extremism. Whether that's the case of when someone's in a fat loss phase, they believe they should just eat as little as possible, do as much cardio as they possibly can, or on the flip side, we're in the bulking phase and they're just trying to eat as much as they can. As the answer often lies for a lot of topics, the answer often lies somewhere in the middle. But it's important we firstly take a step back and look at this fat loss phase and realise exactly what we're trying to achieve. Now the main purpose of the fat loss phase is essentially threefold. We're obviously trying to lose as much body fat as possible. The second point is we're trying to maintain as much muscle mass as possible. And thirdly we're trying to maintain as much strength as possible. So these are three key factors and if we try and focus just on fat loss and forget the other two goals strength and muscle mass we're going to lose a lot of strength and consequently lose a lot of muscle mass as well so therefore it's a free pronged attack and we need to focus on all three of these and as a result by default by trying to maintain as much muscle mass as possible this will result in a more slower steadier approach to fat loss However, the benefits are going to be huge. The big benefit will be maintaining as much muscle mass and strength during the fat loss phase. Now you understand the main three objectives during the fat loss phase, this should give you a better indication of how we should set things up in terms of training and nutrition. Now the first point is we need to realise that weight training should always be the foundation of your routine. The main reason being this is going to help with strength maintenance, this is going to help with lean mass retention during the fat loss phase. So whereas unfortunately a lot of people seem to presume that cardio should be the foundation within the fat loss phase, completely incorrect. Remember that second and third goal, strength and muscle mass maintenance. Weight training needs to be that foundation. Now once you have that in place, we're then going to be slowly reducing calories and slowly adding in cardio if and when required. However, to start with, ideally we want to have the weight training in place for the individual to be consuming as many calories as they can while still seeing fat loss progress and as little cardio as possible. And it's also important to note that you're going to, you're going to be a slave to the deadline. So for example, if you have a competition or a holiday, that deadline will dictate the aggressiveness of the energy deficit, the aggressiveness of how much cardio you may have to use despite what I'm saying here. But the ideal situation is to give you plenty of time to then have the weight train as the foundation, plenty of calories, little cardio and then you're going to measure your progress on a weekly basis and then you're simply adding more cardio when needed and or decreasing calories when needed i.e. when you hit a fat loss plateau but notice the difference there we're only making the change when required you'll see so many people just slash calories and have so much cardio in their routine when it's not even necessary so remember that key point we're only subtracting food intake and or adding cardio when it's actually needed i.e. when you hit a plateau in progress as I briefly discussed above people for whatever reason seem to pigeonhole cardio as fat burning but as I discussed in so many other episodes we need to look at the bigger picture this statement completely ignores context because let's just say for example we have an individual that does 3-4 hours cardio a day yet they over consume total calories and they're in a net caloric surplus at the end of the day that individual is not going to lose body fat so you cannot judge something in isolation so as a result food intake needs to be controlled and as I already said before weight training is the foundation and then ultimately cardio is just a tool merely to burn more total calories that's the only tool is required within this context weight training the foundation for maintaining muscle mass 
and maintaining strength. Cardio is merely a tool to further expend caloric expenditure. It's also important to note that within the context of weight training, if you actually consider what you're doing, you're doing short bursts of intense activity, then you're resting, then you're repeating. Now, what does that sound like? That sounds a lot like HIIT training. So it's important to realize that weight training is actually very similar to HIIT in the terms you're doing an exercise for a short period of time, resting, then repeating. Because for whatever reason, people seem to pigeonhole the different training attributes. However, they're all very similar when you really think about it. Within the weight training, we're still burning lots of calories, but yet that huge advantage of maintaining muscle mass and strength is so, so key, and that's why it's the foundation. Hopefully that makes sense. So regards to fat loss goals, again, we're focusing on that slower, more steadier approach because we want to maintain muscle mass and strength. So as a result, you want to be focusing on 0.5 to 1% weight loss per week and if you've got more fat to lose focus closer to the one percent if you're already very lean potentially you're prepping for a competition to be close to that 0.5 percent weight loss per week the ultimate goal is we're slowly seeing progress over the weeks over the months to get you to your end goal now here's an interesting question why can't i just do loads of cardio and just keep calories as high as possible so let's just say for example the weight training is our foundation but instead of dropping our food and say we're just going to continue adding cardio to further expend calories now the biggest problem with this is again we're focusing on those three goals fat loss maintaining muscle mass and strength by just doing loads of cardio we can easily impede that weight training gym performance and the reason being you need to consider that your body's continually adapting to the stimulus you place upon it so if we start doing more and more cardio it gets to a point where instead of we're now a weight trainer who just does a little bit of cardio we're now looking at we're an endurance athlete who does a little bit of weight training so you see the difference by focusing too much on one severe side of the spectrum i.e. loads of cardio we can impede that weight training performance because now we're our main time and energy is going towards cardio not weight training on the flip side another question may be why can't we just do no cardio and just create the energy deficit from food intake now again we're going to run into problems here the main reason being calories obviously can help with gym performance so by dropping calories too low and whatsoever we end up in a position where strength is going to be severely impeded we're going to have no energy in the gym so for the most part it's going to be a balance between the three weight training foundation some cardio some reductions in calories and a combination of those two now for the most part i don't i think i heard this from eric helms and lane norton and he said something along the lines of weight training is a foundation 70% of the reduction should be from food and the other 30% should be increases in cardio. And I think that's a pretty good general rule. That doesn't hold true everywhere. So, for example, females tend to just need more cardio to get lean. However, that's a pretty good indication. Mainly drops in food intake and then cardio is used less frequently. That's a very general rule. I don't want to generalize too much here because each individual will require a different approach. But that's a, a general overview. Now, quick note on high carbohydrate refeed. So basically, these are days where you're having higher carbohydrates than your typical dieting carbohydrate figures. And the goal for this is a twofold, really. Increase a hormone called leptin, which drops during dieting to basically replenish glycogen which can acutely help with gym performance for that day or the day after can give a psychological break from dieting and can provide a little bit of short-term energy can like i said help with replenishing any strength loss potentially on the day you have the refeed day or the day after another quick point is potentially having diet breaks within your fat loss phase so Typically, this is only for individuals that have been dieting for a long period of time, but the goal of the diet break is basically to bring your calories to maintenance for one to two weeks to basically restore a lot of these negative physiological set changes to provide a psychological break, and then you can go back to dieting again. So it's a great way to break up and it's really extended fat loss phase over several months where things can get pretty tough mentally the physiological changes that happen and having a two-week or one-week 
maintenance calories, reduce volume during that period potentially can really help freshen up the individual to then start dieting again. So hopefully you've really found this useful because in my opinion this is one of the biggest misconceptions out there. This constant thought that fat loss is all about slashing calories, loads of carbs rather than a tailored approach and you're ultimately just using drops in calories and or increasing cardio if and when needed weight training as that foundation so hopefully you found this useful if you want to learn more about me please go to james layton l-a-y-2 and fitness.co.uk got loads more content on the site listen back to all of the other podcast episodes i think i've got over 100 videos on my website blog articles and also sign up to my free book how to set up a nutrition plan this basically teaches you how to set calories macronutrients protein carbohydrates and fats for your fat loss or muscle gain goals so thank you very much guys i look forward to speaking to you next week take care